Shout out to Mr. To The P. Now, I can go on all day in regards to independent music, but let's talk about the goal that us as independent artists, or those out there who are independent artists trying to make it, shoot for. Let's talk about the labels, the big wigs, the guys that give you the million dollar advances, advances and you use that to develop your first album. I can talk about the guys who've pissed it away and fucked it up for themselves, but then again at the same time, it's not always their fault. It can be a combination of their fault, they and our fault, the, the uh, promotional team behind them fault, uh, the, the label itself fault, it can be anybody's fault, but hey, shit like that happens on a regular basis in the mu music industry. Remember there was a time that some of us as artists coming out, especially when the labels get have their hot moments, let's start from the very beginning, we all want to be on Def Jam Records, right? Right? During the time when Jay-Z was there, that's when the most I wanted to be on there. Besides Tierra Marie, God help that poor girl pissing her way on reality TV. But when he was ahead, Neo and Rihanna got signed. Hey, look where their careers are. Out there, making money. And this is from a same artist named Neo, who was just a writer. He made something of himself. Rihanna, we're only talking about that child because she's put herself out there more times than I can count. From our first album, was it who what that wasn't shit, honestly. Hey, I still bump um, if it's loving that you want. I think the beat was hot, but we can talk about that another time. Point I'm trying to make is from Def Jam to Interscope to Sony. That's just three of the big ones out there that we all look for to strive to be on. I still feel like some of the independent artists are not very looked at as much as they could be. I mean, let's be honest here. Um, people like Jimmy Iovine, who's trying to keep afloat in an independent scene, I think the last time I checked, who's their really big rap artist coming out of Interscope these days? I mean, you want to count Eminem, who's just, who probably done a whole bunch of shitload of, 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 of uh, album sales as a comeback from Relapse, you know, it's, I mean, not realized recovery. And he's basically resurrected his whole damn career. Yeah, he, that counts as a notch in the scope. I give you that one. Right now, if I had a choice to be on the label, shit, I'd be on Warner Brothers. Let's be honest. Rick Ross put Maybach music under Warner Brothers. And exactly what Meek Mill said in Wale's Ambition, they're bringing Warner Brothers back. <laughs> Rick Ross could have easily kept Maybach music on the Def Jam, but he made a smart decision to go for Warner Brothers because he knew. He knew what what label would get behind him 100%, especially knowing that this man, who we never expected to get as big as he is now, has brought in three. And that's starting off with one fledging artist who's now become a superstar in Wale, one unknown artist who wasn't out there as much that's now become as big as him in Meek Mill, and one rap artist who can spit some hard bars in Stolly and has become as big as he can be. And let's not even forget Triple C's and now you got Gunplay and Torch. Torch who's on the mixtape game heavy and Gunplay who just got a deal independently, solely I should say, solo deal with Def Jam. This man is, is turned literally as the, I hate the quote double XL from a company from nothing to something and made Maybach music as big as as Def Jam themselves hey whoever the A&R these days at oh not the A&R the president at Def Jam these days kick yourself literally in your ass take your foot and shove it up your own ass because if you didn't throw a little bit of extra money at Russell stop being fucking cheap you had the same fucking buzz that he has now in the Warner Brothers Where's G-Unit Records these days? Ain't shit. 50, I appreciate your efforts in trying to help with, um, with the effort with Street King and what you're putting it to. Trust me, I do appreciate it. You wouldn't be as far as you are if it wasn't for music, bro. Just saying. Someone had to tell him. Eminem, Slaughterhouse, they can be your golden goose. I'm pretty sure you've seen this from their first 
from their first uh, LP they dropped. Trust me, I bumped that that album on a regular fucking basis. Microphone is still one of the hardest beats I've heard in a while. Fuck your opinion if you think I'm I'm bullshitting. But this is, I'm sorry. Go listen to it. Slaughterhouse Microphone, look it up. The video is even even more concept based. And it's, that was their own money the last time I checked. Shout out to E1 Music. You actually look out for those independent artists as well. Formerly Koch Records. Look up your history, people. The fact of the matter is, the state of the current music game needs just more than three labels or that's held by big artists, Kanye West and his good music crew, Rick Ross and his Maybach music crew, and Lil Wayne and his Young Money crew, along with Baby and his cash and the Cash Money Click. It needs to be more than three. Yes, Jay, you have Live Nation bringing out more. J. Cole is the only one that's rocking and he's carrying that rock, that rock Nation flag heavy. But it takes more than one to lead a nation. I'm not saying Lloyd TX needs some burn. My company has been out there for a while. Trust me, I'd love to have the burn. I'd love to get a chance. But it's not always going to be the case. Fuck Diddy, by the way. Yeah, I said it. The man's a hustler. He's a fucking hustler. He knows exactly what to do as far as business goes. As far as business goes, and he's knew every step to make. But the fact that Danny Kane, who knocked Outkast, who beat Outkast for the number one album, and now they're gone, you put money into that reality show. You fucked that group up. Sorry to say, that's my honest opinion. Hi, Dawn. Where's your career at? Oh, it's that dirty money. I forgot. The fact of the matter is, there's more that can be done in the world of music these days. Lil Wayne, Jay Mills is the, one of the hottest rappers I've heard from New York in a long time. No album. Let's go. Come on now. I'm ready for it. I don't know about the rest of you out there who appreciate true hip-hop artists. I'm ready. Still waiting. I'm ready for Meek Mills' album to come out. He's going to set the barometer for what it means to come up to a mixtape game and make millions off of tours, mixtape being dropped and being on features to how to make it number one in the rap industry. He's going to be the barometer. First it was Drake last year, Meek Mill this year. Who's next next year? It should be you. The independent artist at home that's not signed, who's looking for a deal, it should be you. Find a way to make it. If you don't find a way, you ain't going to mean shit to nobody. You're going to be sitting at home, like I said in the first video, smoking weed and screwing the same chicks that I'm pretty sure your dudes screwed that probably come up inside of and had a baby by and you never knew about it. But you don't go to pretend that you don't know because you probably do know from the rumors in the hood in the first place and you still go screw her anyway. Do something with your careers because you're not doing nothing sitting there, and especially not watching me. Use what you have in front of you. Social networking. Abuse it. Spam people, who cares, they'll get there. And if it don't work as much as it can be, fuck whoever says it don't, because someone is gonna end up watching it. You wouldn't get views if it wasn't getting, uh, if you were spamming it and, 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 and it wasn't getting out there. There wouldn't be no views. Then hit the streets. Winter is coming, fine, yeah, summer's over. Then find a way to do something else to get yourself out there. There's still showcases that rain in the summer. I mean, in the winter, trust me. I can do this all day, people. But this is only episode one. Trust me, I'm not done. I'm not. I'll say more when I need the time calls for it, I will. But in the meantime, it's time to step up. And if you feel like you're an independent artist that deserves to get shine, talk to me. At DJ Main, the DJ Mainstream on Twitter. Contact me. Hit me up. Let me know your voice needs to be heard. I'm the voice of the voiceless. I'm the leader of the next generation. I put that title on me. Follow me or lead with me. Your choice. Make it.